What's good, y'all? Hope you're doing well. Let me just wet my face. Forgot to wet my face. Gonna apply some uh, pre-shave here. I uh, transferred this sterling pre-shave oil into the Zingari Man bottle. And it's worked well for me. We have about 24 hours of growth here. And ironically, I don't have that much hair right now, which uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit under 24 hours. But I got a really close shave from that uh, single edge uh, paradigm last night. So pretty uh, stoked about that. Typically I have more growth the next day, but we're gonna go back to it. And um, yeah, man, we got a dope shave in store. Got the Barrister and Man matching soap and bomb. This is called the Full Measure of Man. Um, this is a recent release. It came out, I think, like just last week by Barrister and Man. And I saw the label. I saw it was tobacco. And I just said, take my money, man. <laughs> I was like, Barrister and Man, take my money. Side label action. I love this label. The color. It's freaking dope. Um, the scent. Uh, very mixed feelings about the scent. It's off the puck. It's like, um, I'm getting that strong tobacco note with a lot more going on in the background but we'll get into that uh for the brush this is the brush i've been foreshadowing and talking about or the gear that i gave up a lot to get and it's this beautiful bad boy right here the black eagle ht1 hand tied one uh, this is called the buffalo attack because this is the buffalo shape and this is an ebonite handle extremely rare i think only 12 were made not 100 percent sure on that but it's a 28 millimeter um ht1 so we'll see how that goes i'm gonna soak it in real quick um yeah first time use so yeah i sold the wolfman i sold it to the great oive really cool dude <laughs> i sold uh i sold a lot of razors man i sold my zt3 b9a is gone the B's, I got rid of my one of my B7s. The B5 is gone. The B6 is gone. I got rid of a lot of brushes, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm hoarding all this stuff. I try to keep the rotation somewhat reasonable. Um, and then just financially, it just wouldn't make sense for me to hold on to all that stuff. So that's what I did. But uh, hopefully it was worth it. We'll get into the shave here before I talk too much. Holy crap, this is jelly as hell. <laughs> oh, shit. This is more jelly than the uh, HT2 that I just used for sure. Like visually, freaking sick. Um, sorry, I just wasn't expecting that. Like, damn, you can see that clump up together, but it's just the tips. We're gonna get into the load here. I'm gonna do a good 30 seconds. We'll go up to 340. For something with hook gel tips, um, I found that the Black Eagles, they pick up soap surprisingly well i don't know why same thing with my declaration b8 super jelly but once i shake out all the water picked up the uh the soap my leonidum that i used to have did the same thing um kind of similar trend you just want to shake out the water if you have a jelly knot uh whether it's an umo whatever maggards if it's treated um i don't think the maggards come treated but yeah see we got plenty of lather here uh, we're just going to go back to wetting our face again, and then we'll get into the scent. Yeah, so it's off the puck for me. It felt like a, it was like a tobacco with almost like a like a saltiness in the background. It, it's as weird as that sounds. And once I told myself that, I could not like unsmell it. But with Barrister and Man, you got to you gotta really lather it, and the scent will typically open up on its own, so... That's what we'll do. So I'm splaying the brush here. Yeah, so I would say this is definitely softer than the HT2. And the HT2 is just crazy soft. So it's like the weirdest sensation when you find something that soft, but it's still like, and then you find something softer. It's like, what the hell? But yeah, man, I sold the Wolfman. I sold uh, a Paradigm Titanium too. Didn't use it enough. I didn't find it efficient enough for my liking. I had to buff too much. 
Um, so yeah, I sold off a lot of gear. Um, but I made this gear, this brush in yesterday's brush possible. So for me, it was worth it. And uh, we're using the Excelsior base here. I was kind of hoping he would uh, bring this scent in soft heart, but it seems like he wanted to, uh, Will from Bear Street Man wanted to uh, hit a bigger audience. So, and typically he'll do that with the, uh, the standard base, the Excelsior, which is still great to be honest, nothing really to complain about here, but it's just that I have a ton of Excelsior soaps. It's always cool to pick up another soft heart whether it's limited or not, you know? I don't really care that it's limited, I just like it, you know? But this scent, let's see. Wow, it's opening up. <laughs> um, yeah, so the scent notes is cured tobacco, sandalwood, moose de sacs, citrus, vanilla, uh, resins, myrrh, and geranium. I'm getting that tiny resinous presence. It's just barely there. Um, the sandalwood might be playing a role, but I have, a, personally, I have a trouble, I have trouble picking up sandalwood and scents. They, I feel like they tend to get lost. So personally, I can't really pick up sandalwood in most scents that well. That's just me. Oh, wow, holy shit. I'm getting the moose to sacks now. It was like hiding when, um, <laughs> sorry, it just hit me. I was like, damn, I, I can smell it. For those who have tried Lavanil, Baudelaire, Vespers, and what's the other one? There's another one. Is that all three of them? There's there four? And this one, I guess. For those who have tried those three other soaps with Musta Sacks, you'll, I think you'll recognize that scent. Uh, that scent, like scent note rather. And you'll kind of latch onto it and you'll be like, damn, this, this brings me good uh, memories. This is a nice twist on a beautiful scent, tobacco scent, and um, I have to say it is much better lathered than off the puck personally. Yeah, hmm. I'm not getting any citrus at all, guys. So, so, so far I'm getting mainly tobacco and moose de sacs with like a little, maybe a little bit sweetness from the geranium and the myrrh, maybe. I don't pick up any sandalwood, so that's, Based on my first impressions, that's my impression of this scent. It's pretty nice. Uh, different than other tobaccos, like I just use a Mori. That was more of like a dark, spicy tobacco with a dark, fruity presence. This is a little bit brighter, a little bit sweeter, and it's got that Moose de Sacs vibe, which is really cool. So if you like Moose de Sacs, you really love this. And this brush is just absolute pleasure to use. Um, my buddy calls this the Holy Grail. He, he, he calls it, he, he owns one of these, the same exact one, and he calls it the best brush ever made. <laughs> and it's hard to argue that, man. Uh, with Black Eagles, you get like really soft tips, crazy good backbone, flow through is not an issue. There's like really no cons to the knot, in my opinion, like very little to no cons. And that's why it's a winner. So yeah, let's get into the shave before I talk too much. We're gonna go with the Schick Pro Line P30 in my Paradigm Single Edge uh, third use. And Excelsior just does a stellar job. Without a doubt. So yeah, I could definitely use more water. I loaded pretty heavy. It was like, 35 seconds on Excelsior. And it could take a ton of water. So, but yeah, it's an interesting scent. It's, think of it as like tobacco with a lot more going on in the background, almost like a, yeah, so the saltiness that I was getting off the puck is definitely not as prominent there. It's like almost not even there. It's, it's mainly that Moose de Sacks note that I'm getting and like, um, maybe some vanilla. I don't know. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know, like when you, when you, when you have like a complex scent and a soap, they kind of just merge into its own scent. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting here, at least in the background. But yeah, it's, it's really hard for me to pick it up. For me, is it a, a crowd pleaser? 
I don't know. If you're really into tobacco, yeah. If you're iffy on tobacco scents, you're picky. Uh, definitely try to get a sample. Okay. Uh, the way Raza put it, he said it might not be for everyone. I kind of agree with that. It's like, I think I'll keep it in the den because uh, I really love Moose to Sacks and I like tobacco and it's a different take on it, but I don't think um, it's going to please every single person the same way or a lot of people the same way like Seville would, which is not easy to do, especially um, when Will's trying to push the bar, challenge people's noses with his sense, which in my opinion is really cool. So definitely a compliment, not a diss in any regard. Yeah, so this brush is 28. It's got a decent splay. It uh, releases lather perfectly well. I'm really excited to have this mount. So it's got a very gentle light scrub, but the tips are ultra soft. Um, just a fantastic brush. ultimate luxury experience um for those who like more splay or more like the brush to take up their face they probably wouldn't like this brush if you really like soft tips and backbone you'd love this brush um some of the super high density brushes they still have good backbone but they splay a ton more they bloom a ton more so i tend to prefer less bloom just because if it's like a 28 and it blooms crazy, it becomes like a 33, 32 millimeter, you know? So that's just my reservation on it. But yeah, man. Glad, glad I got the scent and the brush talk out of the way. Now I can enjoy the rest of this shave. But yeah, man. It's been a cool week. It's been freaking cold as hell outside. I don't know what's going on wherever you guys live. Um, I don't know if you're in the U.S. watching this or or what. Uh, but on the East Coast, it's been pretty freaking cold. Getting crazy amounts of snow. Pretty wild. Cannot wait until the summer. Um, but yo, I'm one of those people, like, I don't care, man. I'll use a bright scent in the winter, because, like, if it's dope, it's dope. And I'm sure a lot of people could agree with me, especially in this hobby. I think that's why a lot of people stay away from seasonal scents. Um, because they don't want to be confined to a certain time of the year if they want to use or enjoy something. But, wow, look at that. Yeah, I mean, use what makes you happy. That's all I gotta say. That's the best model, right? Whether the gear is cheap, whether it's expensive, whether some people think it smells weird, um, you know what I mean? Whether other people don't like that artisan, who gives a crap? Just use what makes you happy. And that's my advice to anyone, you know, uh, getting into artisan soaps and different brands. And, you know, when you pick sides, it's, you're not really being objective. You're just being subjective. So that's the difference. You got a ton of leather in the brush here. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this scent out. It like Fs with your head a little bit. Tobacco, Moose de Sacks. Myrrh, it's gotta be the myrrh. It gives it that uh, different vibe. It's the myrrh, guys. The vanilla myrrh. Yeah, man, it's the myrrh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this scent out. I, I need to use it more. I, like, I, need, I really need to use it more to see, to really figure out like what it smells like on the dry down you know, when it's lingering on my skin after the shave with the bomb. It seems like, it seems like everyone and their mothers, like the entire community is begging Will to bring back aftershaves. It's kind of funny to see. Uh, but man, 
I used to sit like I used to be like, oh, I'm not picky. Oh, we don't need the aftershaves, but it's like one of the best splashes ever made, <laughs> in my opinion. The Deltas. Um, but yeah, this alcohol prices are really high. I think they'll bring it back one day. Just we don't know when. I think that's the consensus we've been getting. So I guess be patient, guys. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, hopefully, it brings it back. Who knows? I don't have any insider information. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm not alone. And there's a lot of us out there. Bear Stern Man fans that need that splash or want it. <laughs> want that splash back. The bombs are dope. They, they, don't get me wrong. They're great. But the splash is a different experience for a lot of people. And for them, it's like, same thing. Loading from the tub. That's the experience. Uh... Throwing that splash, the alcohol burn, that's the experience. Or some people hate alcohol. They just like the feeling of throwing that, you know, that nourishing liquid on their face. And it just feels great. And the scent lingers more. For sure. We're pretty much done. I don't know why I'm buffing. But yeah, the bomb is solid though. Can't really complain about the bomb. I do like that it's cheaper. And very little product goes a long way, so I think it'll last a long time. Yeah, so yeah, what makes me want to keep this scent is the fact that it has loose the sacks. It's just, that, that's what does it for me. Um, if you're a big fan of Lavanil, um, I think you'll like this scent. It's got like a tobacco twist with some myrrh, and that's what I'm going to say. And that's where I'm going to leave it. If this helps you buy the scent or makes you stay away, I don't know. I'm just telling you what comes to my mind, guys. So take it how you will. All right, we are done with the shave. For the brush, permanent, uh, permanent goat in the den, a new goat. In my opinion, the Buffalo Attack Ebonite Black Eagle. Thanks to me who made this possible. Um, Pretty dope scent, dope label, I dig it. Um, I gotta use it more to see how I feel about it in comparison to like other tobacco scents in my rotation. When I would use it, like, would I use this for a formal event? Maybe. Going to the gym? I don't know. I don't know, I just, like this scent just confuses me a little bit, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's just, it's just a complex tobacco. When you think of tobacco, you think of, uh, I guess something simple, maybe. All right, we got the bomb here. This is what it looks like. Um, it's two ounces and it costs $10. The soap, I believe is like $17.99. So you really don't need much. I, what I do is I throw like a dot on like each part of my face. Like we're probably having more than we need, but whatever. So I'm just gonna rub that in. Oh, wow. All right, guys, you're going to call me crazy, but the sandalwood comes through on the bomb. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I didn't pick it up in the in the soap, but I pick up the sandalwood. Tobacco and sandalwood. That's that's what the bomb smells like to me. And the soap smells like moose to sacks and tobacco with some burr. So that's my consensus on the soap base or the soap scent. Uh, but yeah, dope scent, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, hope you guys have a great week with some great shaves. Peace.